My administration wants Fannie and Freddie to write down loan balances for responsible homeowners. No. Maybe you didn't hear me. I said my administration wants Fannie and Freddie to write down loan balances for responsible homeowners. Maybe you didn't hear me. I said no. But you read to Marco and you're in charge of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Right on both counts, sir. And Fannie and Freddie are both in conservatorship since going under in 2008. I'm aware of that, sir. And American taxpayers are being forced to support Fannie and Freddie with their tax dollars. That's your call, sir. Yes. Well, then why won't you write down loan balances for responsible homeowners? We don't have a give the money back department, sir. We never give money back. But you are experiencing huge numbers of defaults and by reducing principal balances you would have fewer defaults, which would save the American taxpayers money. Who says? Well, lots of people have said that. The Brookings Institute conducted a study that showed that Fannie and Freddie would come out ahead by writing down principal balances for responsible homeowners. That study was written by chimpanzees supervised by trained seals. No it wasn't. Yes it was. No it wasn't. How do you know? Well, because I just do. Good for you, sir. When I do too, I let you know. But the Treasury Department thinks you should write down loans. Who thinks that at the Treasury Department? Well, Secretary Geithner for one. Will you listen to his advice? Wasn't he the guy you put in charge of your housing rescue plan and the U.S. economy? Yes. I think I'll pass. Ed, I'm the President of the United States. You have to listen to me. Weren't you the one who was supposed to stimulate job growth and stop the housing markets from being in a free fall? Yes. I think I'll pass. If you don't listen to me I'll have you replaced. You tried that. It didn't work. What about this country's economy? Do you want me to take over running this country's economy? No, that's my job. That explains a lot sir. But perhaps you should keep that to yourself. How about Fed Chief Ben Bernank? Will you listen to him? I will listen to Ben Bernank. You mean if Bernank tells you to write down principal balances you will? No. But I thought you said you would listen to Bernank. I think you're confusing me with you, sir. I can hear something stupid without being compelled to do it, sir. Did you just call me stupid? No. But you think I'm stupid, is that it? No. Well, what are you trying to say? That I do stupid things whenever I hear stupid things. On the nose, sir. So, there's nothing I can do to get you to agree to writing down principal balances for responsible homeowners. Nothing comes to mind. And we just have to keep giving Fannie and Freddie as much money as you say they need each quarter. Only if you want to have home loans in this country. But you're keeping credit so tight only a small number of people can qualify for loans. That's true, sir. They are the ones we think will be able to pay the loans back, sir. Well, will you loosen credit standards? No. And you won't write down balances for responsible homeowners? No. So, what will you do for American homeowners? If they don't make their payments, we'll foreclose and have them evicted. That's it? No. What else will you do? I will fulfill my mandate and return Fannie and Freddie to profitability. When will that be done and how much will it cost? Do you know how long we've been fighting in Iraq, sir? Yes. And how much it has cost us to fight in Iraq all these years? Yes. Well, just think longer and more. So, because of you the American economy is completely screwed, homeowners are completely screwed. And ultimately my presidency is completely screwed. Does it about cover it, Ed? It sounds adequate, sir. But they are responsible homeowners, Ed. If you say so, sir. Why don't you lend them the money they need? But, Ed, you're strangling the economy. What should I do about that? Perhaps you could go create some jobs, sir. That's it, Ed. Nothing else you can say. Um, a chop and change, sir. You're a Republican, aren't you, Ed? Hope and change, sir. Hope and change. Shut up, Ed. Just shut up. Will that be all, sir? Yes, Ed. Is it cold in here? I can see my breath. I often have that effect on room temperatures, sir.